Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we're here. We're back with another reaction video. We're here watching The Bad Batch season three today. I'm super anxious, excited, ready to watch it. I kind of did a little recap watch of the last episode and yeah, a lot of emotional cliffhangers we were left with. Obviously, the most heartbreaking was Tech, but then also Omega got captured and we were left with Cry hair being there on the table recovering I don't think anything's off with him and then being introduced or or mega being introduced to the doctor scientist assistant person that lo and behold is her sister which I imagine they're saying obviously Omega grown up uh, a lot of questions there how did she get there she obviously is age differently either she has the rapid age like the other clones or she's been around a lot longer and then how is she going to be working with them is she friendly is she being blackmailed like the camemonian Cam camionian <laughs> anyways um yeah so a lot of questions and so i'm anxious nervous for more heartbreak revelations in the story obviously knowing this is the last season of bad batch but yeah so i don't i haven't really thought i've had any ideas of what's to come i have some obviously hopes obviously it's my hope we don't lose anybody but i think we are um i think omega's gonna last because for reasons obviously but yeah all that to say i think we can get to it i i'm all in my star wars memorabilia for today i have my clone wars shirt on i have my Yoda blanket, which is always behind me, Star Wars teacup, and then my Star Wars water cup. So I'm ready. And I have my Star Wars handkerchief here for if the tears come. But anyways, I hope you're ready like I am. So without further ado, let's get to it. Season three, episode one, Confined. Creepy Empire Tech. You're cleared for landing. Mayday! Mayday! Our systems are unresponsive! Do you come? They're not gonna do- they don't have any ejection pod stuff. 343 to base. Do you copy? We have to get moving. There are creatures in this jungle. Relax. They're looking Wait, to keep them why does this give me, not um, Battlefront Ewok vibes? It's giving me a... <laughs> if they're past the perimeter, then they're as good as dead. Yikes. So now we know about the threats that exist. Man, the music's so good. Just so subtle. Good morning, Omega. How are you feeling today? Like a prisoner. Prisoner? Omega, you are no such thing. It will take time to adjust, but you will acclimate. It is far safer in here than out there. She's so, like, to do. robotic. I mean, very, um, science-y. Gives me vibes of tech, ironically. The tech version of Omega. Are those other versions of her around? Oh, there. <laughs> Touch him. He doesn't even look at her. He's so sad, boy. What are you doing to him? You're taking a blood sample? And now I need to take a blood sample from you. From me? Why? The samples are used for various research projects. All of us serve a purpose here. If you're a clone like me, how come I never saw you on Kamino? Because I was sent elsewhere. 
until Dr. Hemlock took me under his wing. He saw potential in me. Like Nala say, sees in you. I never knew that I had a sister. It's nice not being alone. That was a long time for that much blood. Head to the lab. Nala say is expecting these. Maybe she's like brainwashed or something. Why they're using the other clones' blood samples, though? If Thank there's just you, like Omega. Okay, how do they know who's is who? Oh, interesting. Omega, your sample was taken. Mm-hmm. Emery said it was routine. deleted it huh she is not about that wow look at her protecting her why are you discarding it tell no one it is safer this way she doesn't want her this to be research her it's not like what we did on Camino, is it no it is not Oh, no, let's say. I understand. The Empire seeks the reproduction of a genetic M count. But the experiments on the specimens have yet to yield the desired result. She doesn't want her to be. What specimens? How nice so to see you reunited with your trusted assistant. I'm sure Omega's presence here will only strengthen her. I see. Her. For some reason, I thought they knew, so they just wanted Shall to use to her as a party chick. If they didn't realize her See to your remaining tasks. Of maybe of her DNA. We're looking at palpy clones. They're doing it so well, the setup. Those creatures that live outside, maybe? Lurka hound. Or the. Aww. Wait, so they have. Wait. So they have these things trained and they're using them as their perimeter and so they could have called off those hounds on them, potentially. I betcha. Aww. Still won't eat the food, huh? I don't blame you. Yeah, I saved you some of mine. Wow, she's befriending this... God's watching me. You shouldn't be down here at all. Hmm. Well, how else are we going to plan an escape? There is no we, and there is no escape. I've already tried. Every stronghold has a weak point. Maybe I can convince Emery to help. She's one of us. Not every clone is your ally. You trust too easily. Maybe you don't trust enough. He's getting weak. Your 
first. Go. Before you make things worse for both of us. I don't know if that was... I don't think it was nerfed, I think. There has to be a way out of here. I think there's something physically it. off with him when they're doing these tests. And he's a sniper. He is, his steady shot is probably not going to be there. Oh, she's making a doll for herself. Adorable. I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Adorable. That can't be the end already. Whoa! She is older, wow. Good morning, Omega. Good morning. Let's begin. Wow. He's still alive, good. Rinse and repeat every day. Quiet down. Yeah, she's worried that it would actually succeed with potentially Omega and her be used as experiment. Sustained injuries during the nightly patrol. If her wounds do not heal, the subject will be terminated. Then do something to help her! Uh, I am not a medical droid. It is not part of my programming. We'll bring a medical droid down there. Now look, I need to clean your wound for it to get better. It'll only hurt for a second, so put those teeth away and behave. Aww. Man, risky. See? It's not so bad. Aww. I dressed Batch's wounds as best as I could. At least she didn't bite me. That's progress, right? If she doesn't get better soon, maybe I can steal a med kit from the lab and see if there's anything I can use. Stop. What is your primary objective? Escape? Then stop wasting time on lost causes. Like forget the Hound, forget me, and complete the mission. If I get the chance to escape, I wouldn't think twice about leaving you behind. You're lying. You wouldn't do that. You're my brother. I'm not them. I'm not giving up, Crosshair. I won't let you either. Every day she goes there and talks with him. Omega. Don't risk anything for me. I belong in here. None of us belong in here. Another day. Is she over <laughs> again? What's going on? Surprise inspection. Standard procedure. Clear. Don't be rude to her, Dolly. Bring it here. We've been over this before, Omega. Personal items are forbidden. I'll dispose of it. Don't! Please, Emery. It is for your own good. Come. We have work to do. Stupid brat sister. Brainwashed and corrupted. Ugh. All this time she's gone without an inspection. She'd be pleased to be accomplished a successful transfer. Not when the M count was severely diminished in the process. 
If you do not match count. or exceed the specimen's original count, it is a failure. I would hate to think you were intentionally delaying this advancement. You should not question my loyalty to science, Doctor. Of course. And we shall soon see if the Emperor is as understanding as I am. So good at that voice. It's so creepy and eerie. It just gives me like, ugh. Oh. Hello, Betcha. Look at you. You're Aww. almost at a hundred percent. Do not read the scanning orders for the day. LH two zero one has been slated for termination. What? Why? She's healed. The creature's recent domesticated disposition has been deemed a liability. That's my fault, not hers. It is protocol. Well, F your protocol. Let go! Security alert. Oh my. It's like I do things my way. Uh oh, snap. Mm, I think security was called, girl. Get out and get out for good. Betcha, come! Now you need to run away and not come back, okay? And try not to bite anyone. Get out. I can't go with you yet. I have to get crosshair first. Don't you d dare hurt her. Go on! Betcha, go! Breaking the rules, I see. Releasing a weak lurker hound into the wild. I didn't know you were so cruel, Omega. You were gonna terminate her. And you believe your actions changed that outcome? Oh, uh, some rotations ago, one of our shuttles crashed just beyond this mountain. But that is not what killed them. No, it was the creatures that roam the jungle. Even our strongest lurker hounds struggle against mm. what's beyond these walls. And your domestication of LH-201 only made her vulnerable. She deserves a chance. Oh, the flawed logic of an idealistic child. Emotion and sentiment have no place within these walls. Yeah, you would do than you. well to remember that. Doctor, perhaps I should return Omega to her room. She's trying to protect her. You have more to say. I know. You brought me here to make Nala say cooperate. She won't work for you if you hurt me. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to hurt you, Omega. Your friend in the detention block, however, may not be as fortunate. Oh, Don't hurt Crosshair! He didn't of... do anything! I'm willing to make a few sacrifices if your misbehavior continues. Actions always have consequences. Sometimes not in the ways we imagine. No way. Omega. Please, just... You took my doll. Go. You took my freedom. <laughs> a peace offering? Maybe there's hope yet. She's getting little bits in a little bit of bending. Episode one, and I'm already here crying. Literally, like, 
minutes within <laughs> the recap and the episode. I, one, I always have a fear when there's an animal, even if it's a animated animal. I have a hard time seeing bonding because you feel like inevitably there's going to be a loss. Man, if all of us, who of you have had traumatized childhoods watching things like Homeward Bound, I watched Ace Ventura when the raccoon fell off the cliff. I like bawled my eyes out as a child. All these things are very stuck in my head prominently. They pick in the city all of <laughs> it's so hard to watch movies shows with that so now i have this fear that batcher's gonna get hurt how dare they bond omega with this sweet domesticated creature that went from angry to sweet loving caring of omega <sighs> All that said, I skate spacing your names. So I'll just call her the scientist. The scientist starting to warm up, or the sisters starting to have little moments. They had that look, you know, when she pushed back and said that thing about like, you know, when he was saying emotions don't belong here and empathy, blah blah blah. And she's like, Screw you, dude. I do what I want. I'm not gonna be a robot like you. And then he's like, Well, I'm gonna now punish your friend that you care about. Just like you called me out on Nala Say, I have somebody else I can use against you. So the chain of uh, <laughs> a punishment continues. Yeah, so that's interesting. We have Crosshair. Uh, Omega is a very big piece, you know, very main character connecting, you know, her very stubbornness to optimism, to hope. You know, that, that shining star of Star Wars of hope shines through in Omega beyond just being a child because children's hope can be broken and her has certainly been broken many times but she's she has her dreams and hope for things to work out um crosshair getting free batcher getting you know her freedom which she did emery coming oh emery there we go emery coming around to her side and being like you know and then nala say kudos to her man yeah you're dedicated to science but she cares about omega more like she obviously knows like i'd be putting omega at risk severe risk by using her DNA. Because if that works, which she feels like knowing science, that has a high chance, she's not willing to risk that. And she is prolonging this process by not trying that. And I'm surprised that they haven't pushed Dr. Howard, is that his name? Haven't pushed to do that. Well, I guess they're assuming it is because Emery's doing blood samples. Everyone assumes, except Nala Say. But also at the same time, she's racing from the system. So eh, I don't know. So maybe it'll catch up. Anyhow, a very strong first episode. The music's phenomenal. Like the way they do the cinema cinematography and why the bad rush is so strong. It reminds me so much of Rebels in the sense of like that close-knit family um, really getting that character building, spending those small moments. Like there's so many moments of pause in this episode where she's just sitting there empty alone in this bare naked room m crossing marking off a day and it's just her sitting there and you're just trying you're imagining her thoughts which is going through her mind the feeling she's going through and then just like the repetition the repeat monotonous days same thing all the time but then she has her little ways of rebelling through the dog through crosshair talking nala say doing that um so yeah it's a i'm really you know excited to see where they're gonna go i'm maybe thinking next episode perhaps we might see what the other bad batch crew what echo hunter and wrecker are up to um a lot of time has passed and we don't know what they've been doing have they been scheming planning how they're going to help break her out did they get caught and set up in something else are they out on their own certainly they're not abandoning her i don't think they have lost hope because they're pretty set in their objectives too and they've decided that their family is what's important so I don't know. We don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks guys so much for watching. Um, really strong start to season three. I'm really excited to be watching Bad Batch again. It, again, the animation is amazing. The voice acting is amazing. The music is just great. So thanks so much again. I hope you guys are excited as I am. And I'll see you on the next one.